Hello friends, welcome to Jiku Diaries for the review of India's first Super 8 match against Afghanistan played yesterday at the Kensington Oval in Bridgetown, Barbados. India got off to a fantastic start to their Super 8 campaign, winning by 47 runs, though the margin of victory could have been much more, such being the nature of the pitch. India should have got more than the 180 for 8 that they did, thanks largely to Surya Kumar Yadav's second consecutive half century of this tournament. India posted 181 for 8 and restricted Afghanistan to 134, bowling them out with Arshadeep Singh and Jaspreet Bumrah picking up 3 wickets each and Kuldeep Yadav 2 wickets. As I mentioned in my preview yesterday, India made one change, bringing in left-arm wrist spinner Kuldeep Yadav at the expense of medium pacer Mohammad Siraj. India went on with three specialist spinners and two medium pacers with Hardik Pandya being the third seamer. And luckily for India, Rohit Sharma won the toss, decided to bat first on a pitch that was dry, promised a lot of runs and there was no shade of grass on the pitch and on the adjacent pitches anywhere on the square. It was brown and hard that even Sunil Gavaskar, the legendary India opener and former captain, who will turn 75 next month, said in his pitch report that he'd have loved to bat on this surface even at this age. Continuing to open with Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli, the Indian captain fell to a poor shot, skying left-arm pacer and the highest wicket-taker of this World Cup, Fazal Hook Faruqi, to be caught at mid-on by his opposite number, Rashid Khan. Rishabh Pant at number 3 played a quick fight, 20 of just 11 balls before falling to a reverse sweep, missing it and trapping trapped leg before wicket by Rashid Khan in the 7th over. Pant was earlier lucky to be dropped by Navin ul Haq in the mid-wicket boundary but then he continued to live dangerously as he is known to. Kohli was watchful as Afghanistan spinners came early into the attack. They had variations with off-spinner Mohammad Nabi, leg spinner Rashid Khan and left-arm wrist spinner Noor Ahmed. But then Kohli drove Rashid Khan straight to long off, finding the fielder in Mohammad Nabi there falling for a run a ball 24. On a surface that begged to be hit, India's top three fell early and left the pitch, cursing themselves for the missed opportunities. Afghanistan's bowling strength lies in their spin and led brilliantly by Rashid Khan, bowling to the set field and forcing the Indian batsmen to make mistakes. Rashid eventually finished with 3 for 26. The two batsmen who batted together to steer India to victory against USA, the two Mumbaikers, Suri Kumar Yadav and Shivam Dubey, joined hands at 62 for 3 in the ninth over and had a tough job at hand. Suri Kumar Yadav brilliantly employed the reverse, the sweep shot rather, the sweep shot against Rashid Khan, playing it on either side of the square, even going aerial at times for a six. Suri Kumar Yadav by using the crease to play the shot, negated the turn and did not get into any trouble. Of course, only if he missed it. But Dubey looking to drive the spinners and cut, but in doing so, fell to Rashid, cutting too close to his body, only to be dismissed leg before wicket after a successful DRS by Afghanistan. Dubey fell for turn 10 and at 94-4, with Rashid taking three wickets, it was Afghanistan dictating terms against India on a fine batting surface. Suri Kumar Yadav and Hardik Pandya built a partnership looking to hit the medium pacers Naveen ul Haq and Azmatullah Omarzai in the V with the ball nicely coming onto the bat. Suri Kumar Yadav, in posting his second successor 50, helped India gain momentum and looked to score most of the runs in the death overs. But soon after getting to his 50, he hit high with his head held high and was caught at long off 
by Mohammad Nabi for a 28 ball well made 53 with 5 fours and 3 sixes, ending the 60 run partnership for the 5th wicket with the vice captain Pandya. Pandya tried to accelerate, scoring 32 runs. He survived a LBW appeal given out, but then DRS showed otherwise as the ball was missing the leg stump. But the next ball, after the successful DRS by Pandya, he holed to deep point. Jadeja fell soon, caught a short third man, giving Fazal Hook Faruqi his third wicket. Afghanistan bowlers were brilliant to contain the Indian batsmen to less than a par score. Facing 182 to win, the highest successful target at this venue if it was achieved by Afghanistan. They had the batsmen who could get the team there. Inform batsman Rahmanullah Gurbaz opened with Hazratullah Zazai, who only less than a week ago was named as a replacement for the injured Mujibur Rahman, the off-spinner. Gurbaz made his intentions clear, smashing the first legal delivery of the innings from Ashdeep Singh straight for four and followed it with a six later in that opening over. However, in the second over, with Jaspreet Bumrah opening the bowling for the first time in this World Cup, proved why he should be opening the bowling in the first place, taking the new ball when he took the edge of the charging Gurbaz to nick behind to Rishabh Pant for 11. Virat Kohli at backward point put down an offering from Ibrahim Zadran who batted at number 3 in Ashdeep's second over and the third of the innings so the batsman was on 7 and Afghanistan at that point were 20 for 1. However, Zadran did not last long falling in the next over the first of Akshar Patel the left arm spinner hitting him straight to extra cover Rohit Sharma. It was the over in which Akshar Patel bowled a wicket made in. Bumrah struck again. Zazai trying to play on the onside, ending up edging to short third man. Bumrah's variations, who could bowl, bowl almost six different deliveries in an over, caught the Afghanistan top order off guard. After the Afghanistan batsman was back in the pavilion with only 72 on the board in the 12th over when Gulbadin Naib and Azmatullah Omarzai fell in successive overs of spin. Kuldeep Yadav and Ravindra Jadeja also getting among the wickets as Afghanistan went for big shots and skied them. There was no scope for recovery from Afghanistan from this position as the asking rate was mounting to more than 13 and over and went up to even 18 as the Indian bowlers kept it tight and kept taking wickets regularly. Bumra took his third, this time Najibullah Zadran slicing to Arshdeep Singh at point. Kuldeep dismissed Nabi who hit against the win and was caught at deep mid-wicket by Ravindra Jadeja. It was a procession by the Afghanistan batsmen and India emerged on top, collecting two points from this game and going to Antigua to face Bangladesh with the aim of sealing their semi-final berth on June 22nd, that is tomorrow. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, with more on the ICC Men's T20 World Cup, take care, stay safe and have a nice day.